memory. What a mess. It's as much fiction as it is truth. This tour, not enjoying a single moment of it. What do I have to show for it? We're experiencing the world really through Dylan's imagination. And the remarkable thing about Dylan Thomas is, um, uh, you know, he had a miserable childhood, but he wrote then gloriously about the childhood that when you read A Child Christmas in Wales, you think, my God, I want to live in that world. But he lived in this miserable world of Presbyterian church three times a day, being beaten and so on. What I thought was I would create as we often do, this idealized version of his past, which was color, and then his black and white, rather shades of gray present. Love is a word so often used, it's lost all me. What the hell do you mean when you say I have taken your life? It broke my heart! Your heart, it gave you an excuse! Don't even know him. So much easier to love people we don't know, don't you think? It's two very different philosophies, particularly about poetry, because this was uh, there was a sea change going on in literature at the time. And Dylan Thompson, in some respects, represents the old poetry, a lyrical, um, a liter literative, elegant, uh, beautiful. And I guess Rodrigo, without giving the story away, represents what was then happening in New York and throughout the world, which was the, uh, the, the new generation of poets, the G Ginsberg and so on, who are more about seeing the world as it was, specifically uh, dealing with vulgarities and the uh, ordinariness of the world. So the language would no longer be so elegant or vainglorious. It would be actually about the commonplace. And sometimes, particularly in Ginsberg, just vulgar and earthy and crude. But the poets, of course, felt we're writing about the world as it is, not as you wish it to be. What a terrifying place the world would be. And I'm going to see my woman till I get satisfied. Do you judge the artist by the art or do you judge the artist as a, how they are as a person. Dylan Thomas uh, was a womanizer. He was unfaithful to his wife. Um, he was irresponsible. He didn't feed his children. Uh, meanwhile, he was out carousing, drinking, and having a fabulous time. Should we ignore him because he's a bad person but a great artist? Or do we only look at the art independent of the person? And that's what I find uh, you know, absolutely uh, fascinating. Have you thought about giving up the drink? What, with all the discomfort of the diarrhea, the cramps, and the vomiting? Yes. Well, how would I put up with it without a drink? 